G'day, Melissa Shannon here from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com. I'm here today in Photoshop Elements 13 to show you how you can erase the background of a photo. Now, there's a few ways you can fix up and repair the background of your photo in Photoshop Elements. Today, I'm working with this photo of my little girl Lucy. I just want to clean up the background a little bit. So there's a few tools I can use. The first thing I'll do before I start editing and what I recommend you do is save your file as a Photoshop document. Go to File, Save As, then choose Photoshop Document. That way we won't be editing our original photo. Now the next thing to do is take a look at what we want to fix up. Now there's a few things we want to clean up in this photo. I'm going to click this icon to create a new layer and I'm going to choose the spot healing brush tool and clean up a few parts of my photo. So there's this um, spill cloth here, we'll get rid of that. As you'll notice it's in content aware mode so it's trying to do its best to match in with the carpet. Let's continue to fix that one up. Now let's also get rid of this little trike here. So make it smaller. Go over here. Now the technique with this content aware um, fill is to Go over the whole item first and then come back and repair some of the little bits and pieces here. So there we go, we've cleaned up the carpet here. And now I just want to get rid of the high chair and the blackboard behind her head because it's a bit distracting. So what I'm going to do is add another new layer. I'll name this one wall. I'll name this one here carpet so I know what the layers mean. To edit the name of a layer just double click on this little word here. I'm going to click on my wall layer and then I'm going to use my color picker tool. I'm going to choose the color of the wall. Now I'm going to get my paintbrush and I'm just going to go ahead and paint right over here. I'll zoom in a bit um, so that I don't paint over Lucy's head too much. Now we're just going around here to floor level. Painting away And then what I can do to make it even more accurate is I'm going to turn off this layer. You can see even with that quick paint it's looking a lot better. So what I want to do is click on my original photo layer and then use the quick select. Click on the background layer. Now draw Lucy's head here and I'm holding down Alt and I'm just drawing outside Lucy's head to keep it just to within her head here. So we're going to go back to the background layer. I'm going to click on the eye icon to remove the wall layer and I'm just going to use my quick select tool and draw with my mouse over Lucy's head going to alt click on any areas that go out too far. So now I'm going to alt click on this little bit of wall here. Now I've got just Lucy's head selected. I'm going to go back to my wall layer, turn it on, then press delete. 
Now that's deleted any part of my wall selection that was within Lucy's head. And I'll just press select and deselect to get rid of those marching ants. Cut that. So now I can use the brush to just go ahead and clean up any bits where it's kind of obvious that I've painted. Can reduce the size of my brush by pressing the left square bracket just around the edge of the ear where it's a bit grey. I'm just going to draw over that. So you can see we've gone from this to this in less than five minutes. It's pretty quick. <laughs>